authenticated. Number one, cheetah. This body feline is the fastest land mammal on earth. These creatures, found mostly in Africa, may be super fast, but they are getting extinct. A mother cheetah watches after her children until they reach the age of two. Cheetahs have to sneak upon their prey because they can only sprint for about 15 seconds before they overheat and have to stop. They can stretch out and cover nearly 30 feet in one stride because of their unique spine. They have dark marks underneath their eyes which help them reduce glare and see properly. Cheetahs hunt during the day mainly to avoid another big cat who prefers to hunt at night. Yeah, you got it right, it's lion. Lion will kill cheetahs and steal their dinner. So rude. Cubs learn to hunt via play, practice and their mother's patience. They will soon have to fend for themselves. I hope now that the cheetah is not a complicated animal. Animals complicated. Number two, the humongous blue whale. As said, the blue whale is the largest animal ever known to the mankind. Blue whales can be found in all the world's oceans at around 98 feet long in 180 tons. They are the jumbo jets of the sea. Like us, blue whale need air to breathe, so they come to the surface to breathe. Do you know that their hearts weigh the same as the cow, tongue weighs the same as elephant, and their babies weigh the same as hippo? They like to eat krill and little tiny shrimps, sometimes up to 40 million a day, with an organ known as baleen. Blue whales are endangered species. If you're lucky, you might see one, but not so lucky if you're a krill. They have the ability of echolocation that makes them loud. So that's all and I hope now the blue whale isn't a complicated animal for you. Animals complicated. Number three, great African elephants. African elephants have larger ears than Asian elephants, but that's a good thing because they help to let out the heat. African elephants can be found in West, Southern, and Eastern Africa. The trunk is basically a fifth limb to grab things and a sound amplifier. The African elephant is the largest living animal on land. They can eat up to 220 pounds of vegetation in a day. To eat leaves in tall trees, they make the tree fall using their trunk. Oh, so powerful! They can live up to 70 years. So that's all and I hope now that the African elephant isn't a complicated animal for you. Animals complicated! Number 4 the powerful gorilla. Gorillas are found in Western Africa and in the lowlands. They are mostly vegetarian and like to eat roots, shoots, wild celery, bark and fruits. Gorillas can climb trees but prefer to spend most of their time in the ground. A group of gorillas is known as a troop. They are led by a male silverback. The silverback decides where to eat and sleep. Baby gorilla stays with the mom till they are 5 months old. Playtime is very important for learning how to fit in. The youngsters try to copy their big daddy and sometimes dad will play with them. Gorillas are critically endangered. So that's all and I hope now that the gorilla isn't a complicated animal for you. one of a snake. King cobras are found in these areas of Asia with a particularly high population of the western parts, which are the mountain ranges of India where they are much more. King cobras never stop growing. That's why they have to shed their skin around five times a year. Cobras flatten their bodies to swim and they can even swim faster than us. King cobras have enough venom one bite to kill an elephant or 20 humans but luckily they prefer to stay away from humans they're more interested in eating 
are the snakes like this rather delicious rat snake. The rat snake is the king cobra's favorite food. They are cannibals as they eat other king cobras. They paralyze their prey with their venom. They might have big fangs and no legs, but the king cobra is no more a complicated animal. Complicated. Number six, we are made in caterpillar bird. In Kirby, you meet bird prey, the only creature on earth that looks like and hunts like this. The caterpillar bird are found in subterranean Africa, mostly in the open grasslands. The caterpillar bird can grow up to four feet tall and it up scary like and talent by able to stomp the feather to death. A little mouse or lizard had no chance. If head feather was stupid, it used to confuse the prey before the secondary bird stomps on it. They make the nest high up in a thorny acacia tree where the chicks can be safe from feathers. The secondary bird is one of the few birds that regularly food and water for the chicks. They behave like we lost your raptor with why they call giving raptors. So I hope now the secondary bird is no longer a cognitive animal for you. Animals complicated. Number seven, the amazing banded mongoose. Their scientific name is Mungus Mungu. What a weird name. These adorable little creatures are found in sub Saharan Africa and they spend a lot of time foraging for food. They eat millipedes, beetles, ants, termites, caterpillars, earwigs, and tortoises. These four pound little predators make very nice snacks themselves, so they have to be careful when choosing the African savanna. They are a little smaller than you cats. Living in large groups does help protect them but can also create rivalry with other mongoose clans, and little squabbles can break out. They have a symbiotic relationship with the warthog in which they remove the ticks from the warthog and get a good meal. A female banded mongoose can have two to four pups and one litter. Everyone in the mongoose packs helps to look after their pups. They might be painfully cute little furry socks with legs, but the banded mongoose is no longer a complicated animal for you. Animals complicated! Number 8 The Gentoo Penguin The coolest birds around. They live on islands in the southern hemisphere near Antarctica. They are the third largest penguins on earth after the Emperor Penguin and the King Penguin. Wait, then they should be named Prince Penguin. Gentoos gather together in really big colonies and these young fellows are eager to meet a girl and build a nest. Gentoos are the fastest penguins underwater, but they are really slow on land. In water, they can reach up to the speed of 22 miles per hour. They can hold their breath underwater for more than 7 minutes and can make up to 450 dives per day. They like to hunt for fish, krill and squid, but they need to watch out for hungry orcas and sea lions. Both parents must work to keep the chicks fed, so while one hunts, the other waits on the nest. They might look tiny, waddling waiters, but the gentoo penguin is no more a complicated animal for you. Animals complicated! Number 9. The Mighty Wildebeests Wildebeests are most famous for their migration through these parts of the Africa. This is the largest land mammal migration in the world. Every year, about a million wildebeests do the same 300 mile round trip across the grasslands of Kenya and Tanzania. Wildebeests need to follow the rains and the fresh grass that comes with it. What's really amazing about these animals is how fast the calves get moving after they are born. They only have 3 weeks to stand up, walk and then hop to it. Otherwise, they are an easy bite for these ravenous onlookers, cheetahs. 
If they make it across the vast plains and woodlands, then they get to cross the crocodile infested rivers with steep muddy banks. Sadly, not everyone would make it, but luckily, the ones uh, the lucky ones live to do it all over again next year. They often roam around with zebra to protect themselves. They might look like cows with beards, but mm-hmm, the wildebeest is no longer a complicated animal for you. Animals complicated! Number 10 The sneaky raccoons. This does create a mammal extremely adaptable and they only show up in the dark. They are characterized by their bushy ringed tail. Raccoons are very good at living amongst us but they also live wide throughout North and Central America. They are about the size of a large cat but they are more related to bears. Baby raccoons don't leave the den for the first few months. Eight weeks later, it's time to leave. The coons have amazing paws that have highly sensitive touch receptors. The coons are opportunistic omnivores. It means they will pretty much eat anything. You won't believe this, but the coons actually communicate by marking their territory with their poo. Gross. But their main aim is to stuff themselves before the winter hits. They need the food to build up body fat to make it through the winter. So that's all and I hope now that the raccoons are no more a complicated animal for you. So thank you and bye bye.